and I have a question for you. If you are someone who forgets things easily, do I need to uh, remember you, remind you or memorize you? <laughs> Confused? Well, don't be because today we are going to do a lesson on the difference between these three easily confused words and they are remember, remind and memorize. Very simple, very easy to understand. Just keep your focus and I'm sure you'll get this right. Let's look at the very first word here which is remember. So when you think of the word remember, what does it mean? You use the word remember when you yourself try to think of a past experience or some kind of a memory. Okay, so you yourself try to think of a past experience or a memory. Let's look at the first sentence. Do you remember her name? Alright, so here another person maybe is asking me, Hey Sonia, do you remember her name? That person is asking me if I myself can think, you know, think, go into my memory and think of that person's name. So do you remember her name? Okay, so remember is used when you think of a past experience or a memory yourself. Very important. Okay. The next one here. I remember this place. I have been here before. Do you sometimes make these kind of sentences? Well, I do. You know, whenever you go to a familiar restaurant or, or to a familiar place and you, you're going there after a very long time, you tend to tell your friends or whoever is along with you, you know what, I remember this place, I have been here before and I really love the food. So here, you are thinking of a past experience or a memory and that's why you use the word remember and not anything else. The next one here, I can't remember the name of this track, oh no. <laughs> well, yes. It does happen sometimes that you're listening to a great track and you really like it a lot and you have heard it before, possibly many number of times. But sometimes at that moment you just can't remember it. You can't go back into your memory and think or try and remember the name of that particular track. And what is a track by the way? A track is nothing but a song. Okay. So, remember is always, always used when you yourself are trying to think of a past experience or a past memory. Okay, remember, remember that. Next one here is remind. Okay, now it's quite similar to remember, but the only difference here is that you will use remind when someone else or something else, something external influences your memory. Something else or someone else causes you to think of a past experience or a memory. Okay, it's not you yourself, it's something else or someone else. Let's look at the sentences and maybe we'll get this much better. The first one. And this is something that my mother uses very often. Okay, she keeps telling me, Sonia, please remind me to pay the bill. Okay, so any bill, any utility bill, you know, she always tells me this, please remind me to pay the bill because she forgets very often. So I'm like the person who keeps reminding her of all these things. So here, if you noticed, my mom in this case is telling me to remind her of something because she can't think of it herself. So I am the person who will influence her memory. So she says, please remind me to pay the bill. Okay. So remind is used when something else, something or someone else makes you remember or makes you think of something. 
All right. Next one here. This boy reminds me of my childhood. So sometimes, you know, we uh, look at children or maybe a younger person and we feel that, you know, I was just like this when I was a kid. Right? It happens sometimes. That's when you would say, this boy reminds me or this girl reminds me of my childhood. I was just like her, very naughty when I was a kid. But why? Why am I using reminds? Because it is an ex it's someone else. It's an external force, something else that's reminding me. I can't say, this boy remembers me of my childhood. That will sound absolutely wrong. It's just wrong. Okay, don't do it. This boy or this girl reminds me of something. And then we have, do I need to remind you to take your pills? Do, do you use these kind of sentences? Sometimes we need to. There are a lot of people who tend to forget to take their pills or their medicines. And supposing it's a family member or maybe your child, you know, you may use this kind of a sentence. So here as well, if you notice, you're asking the person, do I need to remind you? Okay? Because here, it's an external force. It's someone else or something else that needs to remind that person to do something. In this case, to take their pills or their medicines. So, remind is used only and only when something else or someone else makes you think of a memory or makes you think of something. Alright? And finally, we have memorize. Now, this is absolutely different from remember and remind. Okay, the word itself sounds very different. The spelling is entirely different. So, don't get this confused at all. What does memorize mean? Memorize over here means that you're trying to put something into your memory. Okay, you're trying to get something into your head to memorize something. Let's look at the first sentence. I want to memorize the lyrics of this song. So say if you're taking part in a competition or maybe you just want to impress someone and you want to sing a song at a party. So you want to memorize which means you want to learn or you want to put that information into your head so later on you can remember it. So you have to memorize which means you're putting information into your head, all right? So it means to put information into your memory. You memorize something. If you notice, memorize also comes from the word memory. The next one here. I haven't memorized my annual day speech. Oh no, that's something very bad. I haven't memorized, okay? Memorize is nothing but the past tense of memorize, memorized, past tense. So I haven't already put the information into my head. I need to do it fast. I haven't learned or haven't put the details in. And finally, it's difficult to memorize so much information. So say, you know, if you're a student, for example, and uh, you have an exam, and you've not really been studying. Hmm. So now you have just like two days before your examination, and now you will obviously find it very difficult to memorize everything. You know, anything will be difficult for you. So here when we say memorize, this also means the same thing to basically Put some information into your memory to learn something, okay? So here we are, different words, remember, remind and memorize. Let's do a quick recap. Remember is when you yourself try to think of a past experience or a memory. Remind is when something else or someone else makes you think of something. And memorize is when you try to put some information, maybe from a book or from the internet, you try to put some details into your memory. Okay? So here we are at the end of this lesson. I now hope that you've understood very clearly what's the difference between these three words. 
make sure that whenever you use them, you use them very distinctively and you know exactly how to use them in sentences. All right? Well, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this lesson. I definitely enjoyed giving you all these examples. I'll be back soon with something new. Till then, you take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.